Expectations can be a killer to both your mindset and therefore your performance, right? So there can be benefits to using expectations, but instead in this video, I'm gonna explain the use of intentions and the difference between expectations and intentions. So I'm Dr. Cash Preston. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe to our channel. And I'm gonna go through three big areas to, to break down the difference in why expectations can cause us pressure, why they can um, you know, really throw us off and, and be a distraction, um, and really be some baggage that we're carrying into any kind of performance setting uh, as an athlete or in business. And then think of it this way, what is exactly intentions and how does that differ and how does goal setting all this mix in? So it's a really nice um, video here to just break down and make it very clear what the difference is and what you can do about each of them and how to use it to improve both your mindset and your performance. So let's jump right into it. And I, I'm gonna use the old white uh, whiteboard sh screen share just to help you know, illustrate some, some of these differences. So let's start over here. What is the difference, the first big thing, of expectations okay, versus intentions? And what you want to understand is anytime you're walking with an expectation, it's like walking with a should. Oh, I have to. Okay, I need to. Okay, and these words can obviously become very problematic. And we flip the script over here, we'll talk about intentions. Okay, and so intentions on the on the set on the other side are we're talking about things that you want to do, right? You love to do, you get to do, right? And so these are often therefore your goals um, and things that you're then working towards. And so if we just look at this right off the bat, you know, this this big difference here versus, you know, clearly when you're walking in with these things, what's that doing to your mindset, right? It's it's putting this burden that like you have to, you need to, and you should, right? If you walk, show up to practice, you're showing up to a meeting, you're showing up anywhere. And it's like, you feel that it's like, I have to be perfect, right? Like I should do this. And there's these expectations that are can weigh on you. And it's a very subtle difference to then switch it from instead of I, I have to do something. It's like, I get to do this. I want to do this. I love to do this. And that, you know, simple shift, you know, that's why we don't want these and why we want these ones, okay? So, you know, don't mind my, my illustrations. I know they're not the best. So the point being is like, that's, that's pretty obvious. So, but then let's break down what actually happens and, and a bit more clarity and what these differences are. So if you think of intentions first this time, okay, when you're setting a goal, right? It's an intention, right? You're going into a big game. You're going into a situation. These can be any type of goal. So whether it's a both outcome, Okay, or even process goals. So it's like how you want to act and what outcomes you would like to achieve and the results you would like to attain. Those are intentions. Okay, on the flip side, um, you, these goals can then sometimes become expectations. Like I expect, like you should be, and I expect that you be respectful, right? And so you can have that, and that's very much process and a common expectation. And again, there's nothing wrong with necessarily doing this. I'm not kind of sitting here being like, oh, all expectations are bad. But we just have to understand the weight they can have on both your mindset and therefore performance. So understand that like we don't want these to be, you know, our goals to slip and become this. We don't want that. Okay. Don't want it. Okay. With some typos in there. Now, the other thing to then simply highlight in this difference is also often when we're using an expectation, it's a, you know, we'll use kind of this, it's I will statement, right? Oh, I will do this. I you know, I will, you know, get this much points for this production or this outcome, particularly again, the goal and versus it's just simply setting the difference that this is a, I can, right? That difference um, is drastically different. It's not saying that you won't, right? Like obviously that won't help. Like I can't do something. That's that fixed growth mindset. We have some other videos about that, but just understanding this, you know, kind of clear line down here. What is the difference? And are you living over here and setting intentions or are you getting caught up and, oh, I will, I have to, I need to. And where your goals on um, your actual, they are intentions become an expectation. So that's number one. What's the difference? Hopefully that's, you know, made pretty clear. Let's clear this and I'm going to jump into uh, the second big lesson that I want to get out of this. So clear my drawings. The second big uh, difference is understanding where is these coming from? Like where does expectations come from? Um, and there's two main sources I want to talk about. First is other people. This is so common, right? So other people 
will come to you and tell you that you should do this. Oh, you could do this this year. And it's an expectation, right? And that's often what the word expectation, and it can be helpful sometimes. I expect you to do this, right? But then when you adopt other people's expectations and you take it and you make it your own, that's where things get problematic. So other people might say things like, you know, you should do this this year. You should light it up as I see athletes here all the time. You should get that sale. You should get this. And when your other people are using shoulds to you, what we want to learn to do is filter it. Okay. So this is what we want to learn to do. Let's put a filter here. Okay. So we got to learn to filter this instead of adopting it, which is a lot of what we do down here. So if you adopt it, oh yeah, I, I adopt it and it becomes my own. And so like, I should blah, 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 blah. Just because somebody else said you should doesn't mean you adopt it and becomes an I should. Right. I'll we'll use some arrows here. Right. So we're going this direction. Okay, don't like that. Go this way. Filter it out. Filter out what other people are saying. What does it clearly mean when somebody thinks you should do well in this? It means they believe in you, right? They believe in you. Let's write it right out here. They believe in you. So that's a great thing when people believe in you. But don't, so filter it out and let it be. Yeah, that's great. People believe in me. I believe in myself. I think I can. I can. I can. Not I will. I should. I have to. Again, that subtle difference is the difference of these expectations becoming a burden versus them you know, fostering belief um, that you can and it's an attention that you're working towards and there's no expectation that you should be perfect, right? So very, you know, hopefully making a very clear difference here. So the, the second big area where, where this source of, um, you know, expectations are coming from, one other people, or just anytime you're trying to predict, right? Well, as soon as you, we go into a predict, you know, mindset, oh, what do I think should happen? Again, keyword should, or what do I think is going to happen, right? You're trying to control and predict future events, like how many sales and this and that. You know, we want to be very cautious of trying to predict things, right? Like being good at predicting outcomes doesn't mean you're going to be more likely to get them, right? There can be a use in prediction and, and having analysis of like, you know, based on this, like these are some odds and this is a chance based on facts and, and things. But in terms of like you're walking into a meeting to a big game and you're trying to predict whether you're going to win or score or get the sale and this and like, that's not helpful. Those are a distractions. Those are a, then the turn into expectations that you should, and we should win or should get this again. So both of these sources, we want to learn to let go um, and not focus on that. Now, the last thing, you know, I want to take away, we've, we've highlighted what the difference is. Secondly, then highlight where they're coming from with both other people and trying to predict and control outcomes. And then thirdly, um, is this, you know, what are some actions that you can actually take and, and get going? So I'm just gonna highlight some here and write it in just to make it very clear. So some actions to take, right? So one, a simple one, daily intentions, right? So it's like, instead of like, what are your daily goals? And you can write that down, but those are your intentions. And be clear on what do you wanna do and how do you wanna feel and therefore achieve in those in each day, whether it's a practice or a meeting or training, et cetera, or even on game day, obviously that's really big, you know, big events. You definitely want to make sure you're using uh, intentions and not expectations. Cause that's when we're going to get caught up in using expectations the most, but that's why daily ones are helpful, right? You use this daily. What, what happens? You're more likely to use intentions on big events. And then I'm going to put in brackets here, use it with your reset routine. You've probably heard me talk about this before. Reset routine is a really helpful concept where it's just simply about, you know, clearing the distractions. So if you're going into an important game, an important event, and you have expectations, those are distractions that we call pink elephants, things you don't want to focus on, right? So we got to clear it. We let go of expectations. There's no need to, have to, should, right? We accept the possibilities, clear it, let it go, understand the situation for what it is. Now we can dial in on what matters and, and what's within your control. All right, so that's a big one. And then, so use your reset routine, um, particularly with big events. And then the last big thing is um, with goal setting. So anytime you're gonna sit down and set some goals, and we have some different um, ways that we like to go about that to make it very tangible and process related, but make sure it's very clear and even use the word intention, not expectation, okay? It's an I can, not an I should or I need to. Right? And again, especially be weary of what other people are telling you because they might use the words should, need to filter that what does that mean they believe that you can there's nothing wrong with somebody saying that to you 
you know, if I was saying it to somebody or if I was telling somebody how they to express how they believe in them, say like, I think you can do this this year. Not I think you will, I think you should. You know, I expect that you should get it, right? Those are putting expectations that people often then adopt and own and put them on themselves and can throw you off. So anyways, I hope this was a helpful tip for you. Let us know in the comment section um, or reach out if you have any questions. Love to hear from you. Make sure to again, just subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time.